How you doing? You're watching Insect Culture. Today I'm going to be talking about two types of uh, ways specimens come preserved. This is a tarantula, a little tarantula in some acrylic resin. Acrylic resin is great because you can see all sides of your specimen. See the front, the underside, his face side of his legs and you can just really really examine pretty much virtually every which way every angle you want also you don't have to worry about it breaking if you drop it because of the acrylic resin it's just strong it's durable um, I think it's definitely the best way insects come preserved Right here we have another example of a way a specimen is preserved and that is in just a standard wooden frame. The way that they do this is they'll get the insect dried, whether they catch it, kill it, uh, order it online, already dead in shrink wrap. And generally when insects die, they, their legs kind of tuck in and um, they dry up pretty quick and they're pretty brittle and very fragile so what a lot of people do is they'll um, take paper towels or cotton balls with uh, just regular water and they'll just kind of place it around the specimen right here this is a whip scorpion so they would place it around the whip scorpion to kind of uh, moisten its body and uh, let it absorb some of that water so that they can pin each limb and joint into every which way that they want to so they can lay it out to like this like it's alive I mean the way that it's laid out the way that the legs are spread out it uh, took a lot of work it takes a lot of time and uh, it's a very delicate process but what's unfortunate about this is if I drop this it's all over this glass is broken this guy's probably falling out and being crushed um, and over time, if you leave these, uh, like let's say on your wall and the sunlight hits them, that sunlight's going to damage them over time and even artificial light can do that. So it's really, you really want to keep these out of the sunlight and, uh, the artificial light pretty much as much as you can. Not to say that you can't hang them in a room with a window, but maybe you just don't want to have it directly on a wall where the sunlight is going to get through into this, you know enclosure that it's in. You don't want sunlight piercing through the glass because it's almost like a magnifying glass and it's just going to kind of roast to the specimen. Um, a lot of the times when they make these they'll kind of line the inside with it's some type of little pesticide so no dust mites get in here because dust mites can get in here and kind of eat away at the you know flesh that is still left of this specimen. So that's why I'm really all for the acrylic preservation of these specimens because, I mean, like I said, they're very durable. You can see all types of angles. Here I just have a spider and a grasshopper. Um, see, I just dropped that and, ooh, jeez, we're fine. You don't have to worry about anything. If I drop this, it's game over. I, I believe that these come cheaper, too, the, the acrylic ones, because it, uh, <clears throat> I think it's a easier process for them when they do it. So that's just something I wanted to talk about, share my opinion about the two types of way that these specimens come preserved. Um, my next video I wanna uh, kinda have everything laid out and maybe name each and every one of the specimens that I have because I've got quite a few, as you can also see behind me right here. So um, yeah, leave a like subscribe and I'll be back with some more bugs thank you